Hello, my name's Carl Kochar and I'm a technical architect at Microsoft. This short video provides an overview of the Microsoft Teams room management features available from the Teams admin console when using standard meeting room licensing. The main Teams room admin page provides a device summary and lists the registered Microsoft Teams rooms. As you can see, in my lab, I have a single MTR device registered and unfortunately, it has a critical error showing both the summary and under the health status column. We'll investigate this in a moment. From the actions button on the top right of the portal, you have the ability to create custom tags, which can be applied to the organization's teams rooms to support enhanced filtering. In my lab, I've defined a tag called home, which is applied to my lab system. If your company has a large number of MTRs, then the ability to find one or groups of endpoints becomes important. In this example, we're going to filter on the applied tag, but as you can see, there are multiple alternatives. If I want to investigate the reported issue, the fastest way is to click through the critical link to the health status report, where I can see that I probably have a cabling issue. On the device details page, I can perform a number of additional management functions, including some tasks related to troubleshooting. For example, I can retrieve device logs and also perform a remote reboot. I can gain insights on meeting quality over the last seven days and also review activity. After scrolling downwards, we can view our Microsoft Teams rooms associated peripherals. This is useful because as well as showing the disconnected display, we can see that this system's camera isn't actually certified. The health screen provides further details about the connectivity and software versions. From the details tab, we can also pull the system's local IP address and its serial number. A nice feature of the admin portal is the activity tab which presents quality stats for all the Microsoft Teams Rooms recent meetings. The example shown is quite interesting as it was a test call with family members who live in rural France. As you can see, their call leg has been identified as having poor network quality. They also had a couple of issues initially connecting, which accounts for the additional short calls that are showing. When we dive deeper into the remote call legs quality stats, we can see why we might have had a suboptimal experience. But to give the technology credit, we still manage to have a decent family meeting to catch up. When we navigate into the advanced tab, we can see that the remote end connected over Wi-Fi. So maybe next time I'll suggest they try a wired connection. But to be honest, the root cause is more likely to be broadband related. The history tab provides a view of the actions that have been performed on the MTR. And it's also the place where we can download any diagnostic logs. From the Actions button, I can block or remove the system. The Remove button will remove the selected MTRs from the Teams admin console, whereas a blocked Teams room won't be sent any admin commands. One point to note, regardless of whether a device is blocked or removed, if it's still configured with a valid username and password, it will be automatically re-added to your Teams room's devices list if it connects to Microsoft 365. You can also edit the MTR system configuration, which will be applied after the system next reboots. In our example, we're going to enable interop with Zoom and WebEx. To apply the configuration changes, we're going to quickly schedule a restart. You can also wait until the nightly maintenance reboot. I know the room is free at 10 o'clock this morning, so I'll reboot the device then. It's also possible to edit a device's configuration for the main Teams room screen by selecting the device and using the edit button. I can't show this in my lab, but you can also select multiple devices and use the edit button to change the system configuration parameters across multiple platforms. The specific parameters that can be configured across selected Teams rooms are provided in the Microsoft documentation. Based upon the reported error message from my lab system, 
I've reattached the HDMI cable. When I refresh the admin view, I now see that my device has been marked as healthy.